name is Diana Baraza, assistant manager in Waweza Movement. The aim of Waweza Movement is to reduce poverty and to restore hope. And it's an orphanage that began in 2010. We are, uh, 20, uh, we are 13 years down the line. So my main work here at Waweza Movement is to ensure that the kids grow both physically, mentally, academically, and spiritually. This is their home. The kids live here. There are about 40 kids. Seven of them are in primary level. We have 14 of them in high school. And the rest are in colleges and university. Hello, I'm Chiruka Kalman. I'm a, I'm a form four at K Vegas High School. This year is my last year at a, as a high school student and I'm really proud of it because it has, it has been a tough journey. It's not easy to be in high school because high schools of Kenya, life is so hard. But I really want to finish my Form 4 and uh, go far in this life, even join Kenyatta University. Carmen is a brave girl, jovial, outgoing. Uh, she's in Form 4, we are expecting that she does well in her forthcoming exams, which will be in the end of this year. Hello, I'm Hasiela Faith, a kid at Uweza. I came to Uweza in 2019 and since then this has been my home. I'm happy to be here. I did my Form 4 last year, I scored a C plus of 52 points. I'm planning to join September College, KMTC, to do a course in nursing. I'm passionate about taking care of people. I have passion in doing farming. That is one of the best things I do at home. Our faith is a brave girl. We've had faith for the last like four years. She has done her Form 4. Right now she is in doing her driving and uh, she is very hardworking. She, right now she is doing some farm work. She's so passionate about farming. So the vegetables that we are using, the fresh vegetables that we are using are from the farm. And that is what Faith is doing. Okay, my name is Brian. I'm from Oweza Kids Rescue Home. I've been here for like 12 years from now, since 2011, since the foundation began. I started my education in class two. Let's say class three till today. I've gone through the 844 system primary. I've, I've, I've completed my secondary education till from four. I managed, I, say, I sat for my KCC last year. Let's go that be a big plan. Waiting for, waiting to join to campus, maybe at September. I'm very passionately at medicine, let's say nursing, because it touches many lives. Uh, Brian is a brave guy. Uh, he's, he wants to join a Kenya Medical Training College. Uh, so you guys will be sponsoring him doing his nursing. He's so passionate about the society. And you being sponsored, you sponsoring Brian, uh, will help him achieve his dream of being a, a nurse. My name is Oscar Bungana. I am the project manager of Waweza Movement. I've been here since 2014, so I've been around for the past nine years. Yeah, I'd say when I came in, uh, the place was not like the way it is now. Uh, in terms of projects, in terms of what was happening, there's been some trend, uh, there's been uh, like uh, some growth. Uh, some of the major changes that uh, I have implemented since I came in, it's like when I came in, uh, we didn't have professional staff, we also didn't have a nurse around, so there are some, uh, we have a lot of professionalism now. The members or the, the staff members were increased, we have four men and uh, five ladies on the ground. So the number of staff members has gone high, which meaning better services to the kids. Uh, another thing is like we have a digital literacy program. It was started in 2019, so 
Uh, our kids are really learning digital skills. We have some computers. My dream course is to take a course in uh, computer engineering so that uh, because I really love computer and uh, that's my best subject even in high school and uh, I would like to be a great engineer so that uh, uh, in the coming years I can develop, I can be able to develop the, the country Kenya which people always say that it's one, it's among the third world country, countries and to go far in the, in all over the world so that I, I can be among the best engineers of computer. Um, we also have included skills, skill works, uh, like uh, I think there are some stuff that the kids have been making. We also uh, started a dairy project. We have five cows now, and uh, it's a learning opportunity for the kids. <coughs> Facilities also improved over time. We have two modern kitchens, and uh, kitchens are like uh, the kids usually learn their cooking skills from the kitchens. The kitchens are well aerated, so meaning that uh, our staff members who work in the kitchens they don't have a problem with the smoke. We usually have three meals in a day. The kids take breakfast before they leave for school. We have kids here who stay here, but they go. Today schools outside Waweza, so they usually have breakfast at around 6 in the morning. They usually come back for lunch and also have dinner. So our meals include fruits, we have vegetables, some from our farm. We have tea in the morning, we take rice, we take meat. Yeah, it is a healthy diet for the kids. One of the major challenges we are having is uh, we have kids from different backgrounds and most of our kids have gone through trauma at some point in their lives so uh, we usually have some counseling sessions for them but it's an ongoing progress it's an ongoing progress so i would say that uh, uh, dealing some of the kids is a, is a challenge for us another challenge i would say it's uh, the space where we are is a small compound, so we are working towards getting maybe a small space so that we can move around, usually so that we can have big land to farm and for the kids also to have big space to play in, a big space for the staff. So our space is limited. We have also an economic challenge, being that uh, the rate of inflation in our economy is not stable. Last time we had elections, prices of commodities has really skyrocketed. So buying basic stuff is becoming expensive. Buying food stuff, food stuff is becoming expensive. The school fees in our schools where our kids go to school it's also expensive. So things are really becoming expensive. Like we have to keep on adjusting our budgets, which is really strenuous to us. I just want to thank our sponsors, especially Megan and Joe, for the help that they have helped us since 2010 to see these kids transition right from the primary level to high school. And most of them now they are in college. This is a, just to say thank you for the support. I'm Faith Nyangule. Thank you so much to our sponsor. Hi, I'm Lynette Madere. Thank you for always your support. Hi, I'm Linda Makungu. Thank you for supporting us. My name is Vitalis. I'm from Moeva. Thank you for supporting us. Hello, I'm Precious. To our sponsors, thank you for your support. My good wish. My name is Nemi. Thank you for supporting us. Hi, guys. My name is Ali. I'm in Form 3. Thank you for sponsoring us. Hi, guys. My name is Alvin, and I'm in Form 2. Thank you for sponsors for supporting us for education. God bless you. Hi, I'm Naimori. Thank you for sponsoring us. My message is just to say thank you 
Uh, we really love you for what you're doing and uh, it is for the kingdom of God and also what you are doing here it has really transformed lives many kids have received help from their lives have been transformed they have gone to colleges they have skills and they can be able to stand for themselves thank you